Well, I'm gonna have to keep on saying it, Happy New Year again. And if you keep watching these videos, some of these things might be repeated because it's well and truly been tailor-made week. There is that much product that I'm reviewing. Then there is a whole host of videos that have been coming your way if you've been sticking tuned right the way through. We've gone through the drivers. We're now into the fairway woods. And in my hand is the new M5 from TaylorMade Fairwood. Three wood, 15 degrees worth of loft. That's the standard position at least anyway. Here's some images up on screen for you now and I'll explain what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna take this club into four gold Chester. We're gonna get some dry ball data. I'm gonna give you some immediate feedback on when I hit this ball. And then we're gonna take it out there on the course and I will give exactly the same. And then we'll return back in here and give a bit of a summary on the overall performance of this M5 fairway wood. But before we do that, I just wanna give you some tech spec that has been sent over from TaylorMade and what they claim will make this fairway wood extra special in terms of performance this time around. The big story for me is the fact that Twistface has now made an appearance in the fairway woods for the first time. So they're certainly going full steam ahead in terms of Twistface technology. A bit of a uh, few skeptics out there that were claiming this perhaps doesn't work hard to claim if it does or doesn't work but Taylor made certainly believe in the technology and like I said the proof in that is the fact that it's now appearing in the fairway woods as well the interesting thing to start with the second point and the most the, the thing that is most different in this fairway wood than we've seen before is this movable weight that is placed very much in the center of, uh, of the sole that, that 65 gram weight by the way that's 30 percent of the total head weight itself and it allows for draw fade adjustability so that coupled with the amount of adjustability that is in the loft sleeve then there's plenty of options there to make sure you get this product fit exactly right for your personal game now then that's enough tech spec like i said earlier now we're going to take it both into the driving range situation then out on the course. But let's start off with a trip over to Four Gold Chester. Right, so you've had all the tech spec from Taylor Made. You've had some images, you've seen how it looks, and now we're in Four Gold Chester. And I'm gonna collect some dry ball data. That'll be a bit later on today. But for the time being, the way I'm gonna do this video and these videos, if you watch the series, I'm gonna give you a first impression. What I find from it in the first few balls with this thing, look at it at address and go from there. Um, just to talk about setup, this is in the sort of standard position. So the 65 gram weight that we talked about is directly center behind um, at the central position. It's the tensite orange stiff shaft. Let's talk about the club at address. Interestingly enough, uh, if you've watched the driver reviews, the sort of silver band is actually wider on the three wood than it is now on the driver, which is uh, an interesting move. Again, the carbon crown, this muted finish. If you watch the other videos, are going to be a bit repetitive. I really like the look of that. That's a personal preference. But I love the way this sits behind the ball. It seems to be a very, very low, sleek profile. Perfect in terms of head size for me. It suits the eye. I can see a bit of loft on the club, see a bit of the club face, which for me is a little bit confidence inspiring. Just seeing that loft. Obviously, there's adjustability in this club as it's set up. We're in the 15 degree uh, standard three wood setup. But again, sit very, very nice behind the ball. Easy to uh, get to an address. And uh, again, I'm, f I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I've got it some golf balls, but at this stage, I'm feeling quite confident. Every right to be, because that's a decent start. We're not seeing a ball flight, so you're gonna to have to trust me. Tug down the left a little bit. Nice ball flight. A ball flight that I would expect to see from sort of 15 degrees worth of loft. Uh, and it's certainly gone out there. We're expecting speed. Fast club faces. That's an absolute peach of a golf shot. That's, for me, I mean, that's the reason why I like to use, or did used to use, quite a lot of three wood off the tee. That kind of shot. If I could reproduce this, I'm playing this off a five milli tee, by the way, at the moment. Um, absolutely flew, great ball flight. Get some great distances out of this. The two balls, in terms of performance-wise, ball flight, very, very similar indeed. Oh, wow. Seriously, that is an absolute golf shot. No use me telling you that because you can't see it. So we're going to have to rely on dry ball data to back that up. And that'll come at the end of this video for those of you who want it. Immediate thoughts. 
love the way it sits behind the ball as i've already said this ball is going out there we'd expect that anyway it's a given I've got a feeling this is going to perform pretty well in terms of dry ball data. Just looking at those three shots that have just gone out there. Twist face is, in my book, immeasurable. From, uh, certainly from my perspective, I'd love somebody to, other than tailor-made, that is, to support the case of twist face, whether it's uh, right or wrong. But certainly from that, I found the right part of this club, and that's absolutely flew out there. I can't wait for the next bit, which is to get out there on the fairways and try it both off the tee and off the deck on a couple of par fives. So that's where we'll go now. Get out on the golf course, and we'll test it in a real environment. Right, so feedback from the course for the M5 fairway. Um, absolute beast is probably the easiest way I can put it. Uh, the ball, as you can see, absolute flies. Um, but the one thing I will say, picking a ball off a tee with a three wood, I quite like. I'm not so keen on picking it up a tight lie off the fairway. And that's a totally different situation with this M5. And the M6, to be fair, if you watch that review, the ball seems very easy to pick up and get a very good ball flight in terms of launch off a, off a tight lie and that's something that I'm really impressed with and personally like I said something that I've struggled with so the one thing I would take from this out there on the out on the course is how impressive it is to get that ball airborne and when I, when I say airborne I mean literally shooting straight up there not too dissimilar from off a tee peck so that's the impressive bit let's get back into the warmth and uh, do an overall assessment of this M5 fairway. Right, busy old day and no doubt you've seen plenty of videos so far already on the tailor-made range, but here's the thoughts and my evaluation of the M5 three wood. Um, let's start off with my opinion on the looks. Again, I've said it on a number of videos, so it might be become a bit repetitive. Love the top side of this, love the muted matte finish on this uh, sort of carbon looking imprinted crown. Underneath, not so keen again, uh, afraid. I don't like this uh, adjustability on this at all, to be quite honest with you. I don't like the look of it. I'm glancing down to, it to my side here. Uh, it's not for me, I don't like the look of it. But looks are only amazing. I think they play a part in terms of shelf appeal. And if I seen this on the shelf, would I have a go of it? Yeah, I probably would, because like I said, I'd sit that crown behind the ball and uh, be persuaded to do so. Underneath, not so keen. Um, but performance wise out there on the course i really like this club really liked it and i think that we talk about uh, in the drivers what's changed i couldn't notice a great deal in the fairway woods i could and for me it was the ability to pick this ball off of the fairway which was the biggest difference from previous models and previous three woods that i've used from all brands really it seemed really easy to pick it up and get an incredibly high launch and that's the, the and even the launch off the tee. I mean, uh, just to glance over to the numbers, uh, oddly enough, it wasn't launching as high as a driver. It was 14 degrees loft. I'll throw these numbers up, seeing as I'm uh, reading them out to you now. 26 spin and 225 on average carry, which is a pretty decent set of numbers. Not the longest three would have played, but in terms of consistency, it was very, very good. And out there on the course, like I said, which is the real barometer for me, you can whack balls in the driving range all day long. But what is it like out there on the course? And like I said, the two highlights for me are this. Uh, it sits really nice behind the ball at address. And I was very confident from the tee. But then, like I said, down behind the ball um, on the fairway, again, very, very comfortable. And I was so surprised at how good it was in terms of picking the ball up and getting it high launching. I hit a few balls, and I don't know whether you've done this yourself, I hit a few balls sort of low on the face, uh, off the bottom few grooves, which 
is like I said, one of the things I would often do with a three wood, maybe almost a little uh, top at sometimes is a, is a shot I've often produced. With this, it still seemed to, I felt that that I got off of the bottom grooves on a couple of occasions, but again, it still managed to launch the ball far higher than I would have expected to. And they were the big differences for me. And the weight port, what I will say about the adjustability in this, I set it in the neutral position, right dead center in the club face. Um, but there is a notable difference between this in the weight of the head compared to that of the M6, and I'll talk about that in the M6 video. So there's a massive difference between the two club heads for me. So A, does the weight system work? I don't know. Uh, we will have a closer look at that and move the position of it. But did it, was it different to the M6? Was it noticeably different? Yes, it was. Um, and for me, like I said, um, really packed a punch, really powerful three wood. A club that I thought was, again, different from last year i seen a noticeable difference mainly from off the floor off the turf picking that ball up which is a tough shot i found difficult in the past and i'd certainly have no hesitation in putting that three wood in the back that's the best i can say about this one really really impressed with it and uh so far bit of a standout product anyway that's enough of this one that's m5 fairway wood i've got plenty of these to do so we'll leave it at there on this one as ever your comments down below and uh, i'll chat to you very very shortly